Hi guys, hi guys, welcome and thank you so much for joining. Um, my name is Yannick Kadogan and my program that I have is called Let's Talk Healing with Unique Leaders. This program began back in 2020 of last year, June, where I was basically going through a very hard toxic time a very depressive time in my life and god placed this platform on my heart but you know it's just to begin to kind of give a highlight about who i am and about my program i'm just going to kind of share a testimony with you guys so last year and a few years prior i was basically involved in a very toxic relationship with a narcissistic person a person that saw things their way and their way only i was so unhappy i was so depressed i was manipulated each and every day i went through emotional abuse verbal abuse physical abuse mental abuse where it actually had taken a toll on my life and my body my mental state my physical state and I was basically at a place of darkness. However, just to kind of give a synopsis of, 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 you know, how I came up with this idea of Let's Talk Healing is one day I was actually there in Jamaica on vacation and I was awakened by around after four in the morning and I felt ill. I felt sick, like I had a stomach bug, stomach pain, felt nauseous, felt as if I needed to go to the restroom. You know, I did got up went to the restroom nothing nothing was happening for me i felt like cold sweat feeling and just felt so uneasy and felt so uncomfortable and i i heard something said to me start a platform called let's talk healing with unique leaders to help female and males right not only women but male and females to overcome toxic relationships abuse mental healing in, in each and every area of their life that they needed healing start a platform i said what kind of foolishness is this you know in my thoughts and whatnot anyways i didn't listen because i'm a virgo i'm very stubborn i ended up getting out you know come leaving the bathroom going back in bed next to my daughter to lay down and i started to feel ill again and then it's like, I got nudged and I said, okay, I'm going to try one more time to see if I can go to the restroom and start feeling better. Still no changes. That thought kept coming back in my mind. That whole let's talk healing with unique ears is still lingering in my mind. And then it's like something said to me, get up, get a pen, a paper and write down the name. Right? So anyways. I left from the restroom because nothing was happening for me. I still, still was feeling ill. And I said, okay, might as well. I, you know, I listened. I went, got a piece of paper, wrote on it. I was like after four in the morning, everybody around me sleeping, my mom sleeping. I was actually on vacation. My daughter sleeping, my sister sleeping. So I listened. This time I listened and ended up going back in bed next to my daughter and the feeling subsided. I said, what kind of foolishness is this? So it seemed as if God was trying to wake me up because he had a plan for me. And I actually listened. Anyways, that morning, around after nine, after 10, I went to my mom and I said to her, I said, something came in my spirit about starting a platform called Let's Start Healing with Unique Layers. And right there and then she, she looked at me and she said, that is my calling. She said, Yannick, you have a story you have a testimony and you can touch so many lives. You can touch so many lives. So it is best if you start something like this. Check it out. Go for it, my girl. And from that June up until present moment, I started my platform. I've received an outpour of blessings, response from a lot of people. A lot of people are suffering in silence. So, yes, I did decide to start this platform and it's a pleasure of mine to share this platform with you all. This platform is one definitely that I'm excited about. I'm excited to help people along their journey with healing, 
This platform also actually had helped me to overcome a lot of challenges that myself I was going through. So yes, guys, I was once that Yamed girl, that girl that basically was in a toxic situation, stood there, made some very bad decisions that affected not only myself, but others around me. So I'm happy to introduce it to you all. And also, if you guys are interested, you can go over to Instagram and you can follow my page. My page, it is called Let's Talk Healing underscore. It is on Instagram. So that is L-E-T-S T-A-L-K healing H-E-A-L-I-N-G underscore on Instagram. And if you'd like to follow my Facebook, I am um, on Facebook with my name uniquely, U-N-I-Q-U-E-L-Y. Yours with a U-R-S on Facebook. As stated, my name is Unique. However, I go by the name Uniquely Yours because I have a unique story. And I decided that this is a platform that, you know, I, I am I'm so excited to share with you guys. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. It's a pleasure. To, it's a pleasure to be here today. So I'm just going to jump right into as far as how did my journey begin? Um, my journey began basically, um, you know, from a, a place of low a place of law where I realized that I was basically going through a very, very, very depressive, depressive um, situation. I knew that I actually needed to make a change. I needed to make a change fast because I was on a road of destruction. I was near to death because depression was taking over so much that my functions, my normal day-to-day -day functions were hindered. I was not able to eat. I was not able to parent my child. I was not able to socialize with people healthy. I was not able to do anything and function in a, in a fit manner. So, you know, I basically was definitely going through a, a, a moment of a reality check. And I said, you know what? I need to heal. And in my healing, I'm able to heal with others because I'm going to use my experience, my journey, my pain, and turn it into something positive to let others know that, yes, I was once that broken person. I was once that young lady that was walking a road of sadness, depression, anxiety, and fear. And now I'm on a road of happiness, peace, joy and comfort but this was not easy this came with a lot of sacrifices and sacrifices in the sense of me I needed to dig deep into a lot of things that rooted up these issues and I had to go back to the source of my pain and yes it was hard I went through days where I felt like okay I want to throw in the towers I don't want to continue on this road of healing but I am here to say that it was all worth it. The journey was certainly worth it, guys. And, you know, I, I am one that I always put on this brave, macho, I got this type of mentality. I don't want anybody to know what I'm going through type of thing. I always try to be that bold, resilient individual. And, um, you know, when, when I came out with my story, it took some real courage. It took some real courage because I know that I actually had like my family members that were watching on the sidelines. I had friends. I had people that knew my family. I had a lot of people viewing in and zooming into my life now, which my life is very personal. And a lot of people were blown away because they saw me get up every day, put on this bright smile. And basically tread on and act as if I was okay. When deep within my heart, I was hurting. I was dying. And when I came out with my story, I didn't even realize that so many people would have been impacted. So many people reached out to me stating that they are probably going through similar or they went through it, but they don't know how to get through it. 
You understand? So, I mean, this is how my journey began. My journey began because I myself wanted to go through a healing. And I, the, healing, the healing that I needed to go through was so imperative. So imperative. So I'm thankful to God that I'm able to use my platform, not only to help myself, but to help others. And as stated, if interested, you guys can follow me over on Instagram at let's talk healing underscore and you can also find me on facebook you can send me dm with any inquiries and i'll be more than happy to share with you thank you so much shanique how are you <laughs> so i just was talking about um how i began this journey mm -hmm. and i just to kind of recap because i know that you were getting together to come on here with me um the journey began with my own personal self, with some stuff that I personally was going through, as you know, I shared with you in our prior conversations. I was in a very toxic, unhealthy relationship, and it came to a point where I actually was not functioning anymore. Mm -hmm. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't rest properly, I couldn't parent my daughter well, I couldn't socialize with friends anymore in a healthy manner. Everything that I tried to do, was basically in a place of of sadness, darkness. I couldn't relate. I was almost like a zombie, mm. right? So reality check came in with my daughter, actually. My daughter was going through depression now. And it came to light when my daughter and I went to Jamaica back in June where my mom looked at me and basically said, you don't see that you're damaging your child. So, you know, from that point, I had to start fixing up my life. Mm -hmm. And then there came the, the nudge that I know it was the good Lord that gave me that nudge because I shared my testimony and I was, you know, basically stating that it was me being awake, woken up from a deep sleep after four in that morning, that morning. And going to the restroom thinking that I needed to go to the restroom because I felt so sick. But I wasn't, it wasn't the restroom that I needed. God needed to wake me up to rest this platform on my heart. Because not only was it beneficial to me, but it's also beneficial to other people that are going through such toxic mess. And they don't have the help. They're so scared to come out. Because even when I came up with my story and I shared it on Facebook, the outpour of people that reached out to me was crazy out of this world. Because I'm always this strong, resilient type of female. Put on yeah. this, you know, this tough thing and got you one. Nobody don't know that. Inside, I was dying. Mm. And, you know, when you look at me, you probably say, oh, she have her life together. Everything good. She in a good, she's have her job, to, you know, she in a good job. She have everything going for herself. Not realizing that I was basically walking a road of sadness. Mm. Destruction, unhappy. I was suicidal. I was as far as wanting to take my own life. Mm -hmm. Now, what people don't understand is, when you're in a, involved in a relationship that is filled with so many toxic energy, it not only sucks from your own, but it sucks everybody else that's around you. <laughs> and, you know, this became so true and apparent to me because, you no, know, my daughter was in the center of this relationship because my daughter saw everything that I was going through. Whether or not I was doing it in front of her face, like my arguments or conversation, she saw me not being the mom that she wanted me to be to her. Not hugging her, not telling her that I love her, but shunning her. And basically, she was locked into a room constantly by herself. I had no time or energy to entertain her. Her grades were flunking. She was, her grades went down. Her purse, everything about her was just not the same. She was no longer this bubbly, happy nine-year-old little girl that, you know, love life. She was listening to some toxic, sad music. And I'm like, oh, my God. Not until that June when I went to Jamaica was when reality set in. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine. Narcissistic relationship. I would advise anybody 
that's listening to this platform tonight, right now, or even after, run. Agree? Yeah, take over two for them and run. Run. Stay over here. Because let me tell you something. You see, our narcissists, they will play the victim. And they will flip it on you and make you believe that you are the one that's wrong. You are the one that's making me do this. You're the one that's creating a problem when you're not the one. Mm -hmm. It's their own mentality, their mind. Their mind is filled with so much toxic energy. And if you're not strong enough, you know, you will be sucked into that manipulation. And that was my problem. Yeah. I was sucked into that manipulation. You understand me? I was basically doing things now to please that person because of why? Not wanting to get the person upset and all these things. But in the process of all of that, you know what I was doing? Draining my battery. I was no longer able to function at my full capacity. I was no longer living for me. I was, I was no longer in love with who I am. I lost who I was. I had no self-esteem. And when I say no self, literally no self-esteem, I had no self-worth. I, I didn't know anything about me, what made me happy. Because now I was basically living in a different identity to please that person, to make sure that that person was always okay. And mind you, not talking about my daughter here. My daughter was never included in the equation. Because that was a problem by its own self, no, you know. So that's why I would advise any female or male that's in a relationship that is and has and realize their traits of narcissistic tendencies, please don't stick around. It only gets worse. It never gets better. Even when them say I'm going to do better, trust me, it's not gonna change. Or I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love you. I'll never do it again. Huh? Oh, please forgive me. No, honey. It only ever get worse. <sighs> it only gets worse. And guess what, no, no? When you are giving in to their manipulation, you know what? You're giving them that, the upper hand. And they now know how to play even more on your, your weakness. Because don't they figure you out, you know? Mm -hmm. Them know them probably like this. Ring around them finger. And a little string. Puppet. All right. You turn puppet. Big time. And, then, and then, then Mr. Dandan, life of a king, gets to call you the infamous yamhead. Which I was. Tell Which me, I was. Expound some more on some of the toxic traits of the narcissist. So they play a victim. That's they, one. Play, they play victim. They tell you all the sweetness that you want to hear. I can attest to that. They will make you feel like they will build your self-esteem. Probably the day or so. And then build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Build it up and then guess what? They just crush it back down. Kill you. Then kill you. Then kill you with sweetness. Then they drag you back from you. Mm -mm. What else? What else the narcissists they are, do? They're, they're good liars. Oh. Wow. They're very, they're very good liars. They're very good liars because guess what? They have a story for everything. Mm. So let's, let's use an example with my relationship as per se that I was once involved in. Now, one of the main issues that we had in the relationship was cheating. Mm. Constant cheating. Mind you, my, my individual would fly from America. Every three weeks, he would be in Jamaica. Now, his excuse was, mom is there. I have to see my mom. Mind you, my mom is in Jamaica too, but not every three weeks I'm taking trips to Jamaica. I'd call my mom, check up on her, whatever, send her messages. Thankfully, WhatsApp has video, video call. You can video call, right? But anyways, Yamed like me now. Okay, yes, no problem, you know. Yeah, go see your mom. You got to see your mom. Go see mom, but it was cheating. 
when 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 things came to light you know what i was told i wasn't doing the things them that he wants me to do so he had to find it in somebody else maybe go now minute this is right this is not right so now you know the yame that i once was oh babe i'm sorry what can i do to make it better oh when i ask you for x y and z you need to do it and i only have to talk to you one time don't ask me why wow manipulation mm. playing on the emotions of making you feel bad no you're the one that's causing your partner to cheat so you now need to do what you need to do to not let the partner cheat you make up you have to comp you have to compromise you have to compensate you have to give him something no yeah you might give him something but a part of that, you know what you were, you know what I was doing to my own self? Mm -hmm. I was only hurting me. I was only hurting me. Wow. Now, the thing is, we all were born with the right and wrong type of sense. We know when something is right, we know when something is wrong. And I, like I said to someone the other day that I was counseling. I said, yes, a lot of us have different reasoning as to why we stick around in, in relationships that are not good for us. Yes. Right? But is it fair for us to use that as an excuse to devalue and demote our own self as a, as a female or as a male? It's wrong. But why do you think women stick around though? It could be for different reasonings, and I'm going to highlight them because I have all of them listed here that I wrote down. Um, okay. It could be as far as fear. Fear can be one. Fear is the number one killer. Now, a lot of females, and I'm not going to only put females in the in the picture here only. I have to speak on my men too, because we have some men too that stick around into relationships that are not healthy. Let's say, for example, you have a partner that provides for you as a woman or as a man, mostly women, because men are really more so the providers in their households. And as a female, you grew up poor and you were brought from a place of not having to now a place of having. You hold on to that stability because now this is a stability that you weren't accustomed to. Because now you get financial gain. You have, a, you have a stable environment, not only to raise your children, but also for your own self. So fear comes into the place of saying, okay, if I walk out of this relationship, if I leave this relationship, then this relationship is, I am nothing. I'm going to be without. And another thing too is, as far as emotional dependency, because the relationship is so toxic, and you lose so many people that are around you. You tend to want to hold on to the relationship because this is the only thing that you feel comfortable in. And the comfort, the comfort that you you are so much accustomed to, you're scared to let go. Right? Another thing that I wrote down was family. Family stability. Family stability was another one that I wrote down because I'm using now my experiences to basically align as to what were some of the reasoning as to why I stood around and why majority of women and men would want to stay in such a situation. Family stability. No, let's say you grew up in a broken home and you find somebody that basically make you feel, yes, you know, so not having a days where you're on a, on a quarrel, on a fight, you feel angry, whatever. But it's like, so okay, you find something. Just a, probably that probably one little intricate piece of the person that you found, found um, finding the person, and it brought you that comfort to say, okay, you know what? I kind of don't want to leave from this now because I'm so comfortable. I'm all right. I'm financially all right here, so still, you know. I can't deal with the other little pieces that come with it. The family structure thing, why I don't want to work with I don't want to lose that. But guess what? Holding on to that is only but hurting you. And yes, another thing too is love. Some of us love and some of us love hard because I was once that female. I loved selflessly. I loved unconditionally without holding back anything. And nobody or anything could have come in between what me and the person had. So the love was so rich on my part that basically I did not want 
to let go. I was just come. I was in a comfort, a comfort place, a place of comfort mentally to say, okay, I love you. I gonna do anything to make this work because. You're giving me all that I should get and receive. I'm comfortable. I have a roof over my head. I don't need to worry about bills. Bills are being paid. And the little thing what me I do with my money can't put aside, save, if I want to go splurge, we splurge. That was the mentality that I had. But apart with all of that mentality, with all of that going on, all of that, I basically was just hurting myself. And you're hurting you too, guys. You're hurting you two women and men. If you think that you're sticking around in a relationship just to please only the person and you're not pleasing you and loving you and caring about you, you're hurting yourself and you're destroying yourself emotionally, mentally, and physically. Because mind you, if you are in an unhealthy emotional state, you can't be in a healthy physical state. Or a mental state. Because you're going to feel low in yourself. Self-worth is going to be low. Self-esteem is going to be low. You're going to get up every day feeling like you don't want to be here because of the sadness that you feel. The loneliness that you feel. The, all of that. All of the nuts. All of the bads that you do feel. So now let me ask you this. If you feel like saying you holding on to something like this is healthy for you, or even you, you think that you can't make any progression in your life, you can't. As far as for me, I couldn't make any progression in my life. I couldn't keep a job. I couldn't. While I'm at work, I feel sick. I'm worrying about what's going on at home. And if even some the person wasn't at my home or if they were out of the country traveling, I was worried about what the person was doing, constantly trying to track on GPS where they are. What kind of life is that? That is no life to live. No life to live. Where's the peace? Where's the joy? Where's the happiness that you so solely deserve? So guys, but my ladies and my gents, if you are in a relationship and the relationship is sour and it's taken away from you as a person, it is not worth it. It is not worth it keeping. It's not worth it holding on to. Better is there for you. Better is there for you. But you have to, in order for you to get to a place of better, you have to let go, go through your process of healing to find better. Right, Chani? I was saying that, I was basically saying that, you know. Just continue, is, man. Just better continue. is out here for all of us. Better is out here for all of us. Mm -hmm. Holding on to such toxic relationships is no good. It takes away from your health. I'm going to show you an example. My health was declining while I was in the relationship. I had a lot of ailments that came aboard. I had a lump that was on my breast that the doctors found. They and then I, I had issues with my with my body not regulating properly um, as a female. And it was just so much things. Because of the stresses, these stresses causes all kind of problems to fall on my body. Now, why you think a lot of people struggle with, with, with anxiety? Anxiety is caused from depression, stresses. It makes you start become so worried. You worry about the smallest of things. And that shouldn't be life. Life's supposed to be a peaceful thing, a peaceful gem. Yes, we have our day-to-day -day issues, but let them be the day-to-day -day issues that we can't avoid. But the ones them that we can avoid, we need to avoid them. Why do we feel like we need to get our happiness in a man or a woman? We don't need to find happiness in a man or a woman. We're supposed to find happiness. True happiness starts with your own self, loving you. Accepting who you are, finding who you are and loving you, respecting you. 
if you the moment you develop self-love the moment you develop self-respect is the moment that you're going to wake up your eyes are going to be opened and you're going to realize that whatever negatives that you're putting yourself in you're going to take yourself from and it doesn't have to be a relationship with you and a partner you know it can be also a friendship it can be also a work environment whatever that is not good for you separate yourself from it so that you can find your better so that your better can also be as far as excelling in an area that you thought you weren't able to excel in find a craft that you never thought existed you have to find a purpose find yourself align yourself with a purpose but you can't align when you have so much negativity that's blocking your path so yes guys yes relationships can be hard but it's hard when we subject ourselves to be in a relationship that is hard when we stick around a relationship that's not for us that's toxic that's bad that's unhealthy that takes away from you you can't do that we have to find ourselves when you find yourself when you find who you are that's when your life is going to start elevating to a better ground. That is what I had to do with my own self. I was involved in a relationship for many years. Everywhere I am, the person is. Everywhere, the, that's, that's, that's just how your relationship was. But the person still finds time to do all the stuff that the person did. And mind you, like I said, Dealing with a narcissist is not easy. Not easy. And if you're involved in a relationship and you see that your partner has these traits, it's time to pack up shop and leave. Because you're going to sink into a place of darkness. You're going to subject yourself to do things that you don't want to do. In my journey of healing, I had to go back to some dark places and pluck out some things that were buried because of the relationship. Some real destruction I had to pluck out. A couple months ago, if you saw me, I was not this type of female, glowing, happy, chirpy, living life, you know, excited about what's next to come. No. Never had a direction as to what I want for myself at all. Never knew what self-love was. Never knew what I wanted for me. But guys, don't sit. Don't sit into a toxic relationship to please your partner. You're going to only kill yourself with sadness, depression, anxiety, illnesses that you don't need. All them problems and ailments that I had. What if I tell you, say, I go doctor the other day and the doctor don't see not one dripping thing wrong with me. <laughs> not one thing the doctor can't find wrong with me, no. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I'm no longer stressed. I'm no longer unhappy. I'm no longer depressed. Yes, from time to time, you know, certain things might, you know, nudge me and me get in a look of feelings or whatever. But that's normal because we're human, ain't it? But half the battle that I had then, I don't have them no more. I did a picture comparison I bought with, with some pictures that I took a couple months and years ago to pictures that I take presently now. Totally different person. Totally. Let me say. Even people that knew me then to know them say, No man, I want one. Oh, you want so sweet, oh you want so happy. Cause them never used to see me smile so much. 
them never used to see the glow that I have right now presently. Them don't know that the glow there. Yeah, them see me from time to time and them see me going along life and whatever and it seems like I have all my ducks in order. But trust me, them see a different side to me now. I am more relatable. Before, if you come to me and ask me questions, I want to shut it down. Quick. Now the time for you. I know you're nothing. Angry. I am so welcoming now. So let me tell you something, guys. If you're involved in a relationship, honey, and it's not working, and you have to you have to be giving more than how much you're receiving. And let me be very specific when I say this now, you know. Because a lot of people they think that giving is only monetarily, it's not giving yourself selfless love. Being loyal. If you find yourself giving more than what you're getting back in return and it's taken away from you, it's time to pack up shop and go. Your relationship shouldn't feel like it's a work. Your relationship should not feel as if it is like you're going to a 95 job and you work hard to come home with a paycheck. It shouldn't feel like that. Your relationship is supposed to feel happy, genuine, filled with laughter. Yes, tea time are going to meet because that's normal. That's how, you know, I'm about to come to a grown of compromise. But if you come to a place where relationship, no peer, bad word and disrespect and sadness and anger, honey, that is not healthy. It's time to pack up shop and go. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Yeah. Amen. I was saying that this kind of reminds me of that song that Maka Diamond and Blacker did. When she said, run him. Run him. We know yes. the really careless part, but run him. <laughs> run him. Run her. Run him. Oh my God. <laughs> We're not no, talking about the other part, but that, this just the song of it saying, run him. That is so true. Run her. Don't sit in it. Mm -hmm. Don't sit in it. Yes, girl. I missed a lot. And so I good. just want to say thank you for holding out for us. I appreciate yes. it so much. Um, hey, just a confirmation that I shouldn't say anything tonight, but the team. enemy doesn't want the conversation to happen, you know. But it's it's something that needs to be heard. A lot of people need to hear it. A lot of people need to realize and wake up and realize. Say, stop sitting in a something when I work. Stop mm -hmm. trying to hold on and sit when a good for you. That is so true. All Stop of us have had to pleaser. learn that. Stop mm -hmm. being a pleaser. Stop trying to please and save the world. You're not saved. You can't save the world. What about you? What about what you want? What about what you personally want? Your goals. What are your goals for 2021? How are you going to get to your goals in 2021 if you're still sitting in the same crap? Oh, Lord. I feel your sister preach. How? How are you going to get to your goals in 2021 if you're still sitting in the same crap? You're still sitting in the same sad place from last year and the years prior. And you want change, but you're not working towards the change that you want. How could I be happy presently today, free from depression, anxiety, if I did not put in the work? You have to separate yourself and go through your process of healing. And then you're going to find that it is worth it. There's nothing that is more worth it than your peace of mind, your happiness, your joy, finding love for who you are. And then everything else is going to align. You're going to realize that everything around you will start to align. Real talking you know? up. What used to be stressful before ain't gonna be stressful no more. Hey, quick, you know, to, to show you a thing, you know, I leave school years ago, right? Yes, I look young and yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I leave school years ago. And I always say, boy, you know, someone wants to start back school. 
And I said it right throughout when I was talking to the person. And every time the conversation came up, the person would have said, Oh, yeah, stop back school for after you need to go back to school. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But guess what? Guess who's back in school? This girl. So something that I thought wasn't going to be possible then is happening now because I am now at a place of peace. I am now doing what things that I've always wanted to do, things that I always knew is going to make me happy. I'm doing it. And so can you. But you have to find yourself. Find your purpose. Align, align yourself with that purpose. You know, and, and everything is going to flow from that point. Yes, find your purpose in yes. order to be fully healed and align yourself with that purpose. Exactly. You have to come to your senses to find your purpose. Exactly. You have to get rid of Mr. or Miss Narcissist. Yes. Yes. To find yes. what you need to find. Because yes. they are going to block and stop. And they're, you. Going, and they're going to come back, you know. They're going to come back, you know. Oh when you hey, listen to me, oh. <laughs> listen to me. No, they're going to find their way back to you in some way, shape, or form because it's something that I can definitely be a testimony and a testament to. Mm -hmm. Because when they start realizing that you're living the life, you're doing the do, and you're not hurting, you're not sad, doing you're so much better doing, now, they're going to come back, you know, and they're going to say, Boy, you know, say what we did do was wrong. I'm sorry, and you know, I want to do better by you. But don't listen to that. That's the manipulation. What What's the song that Ciara did about, um, what she say? You're gonna... I bet you start loving me. Soon as I start loving someone else, someone better than you. Who said me no song? Me no song. Are me, girl? Sure. <laughs> too, it's reality. When they see that the person see that you start doing better, he or she is going to come back around because they want to try to get you back to that place that they had you bounded in. Yeah, man, when them dig you out of the ground and then... You know what I say? Yeah. They want to see you go back there, so... But yeah. you have to be strong mentally, emotionally, and realize that if you go back there, so, life is just going to go back to where you're coming from. It's not going to get better. How, how can you give up your peace, your joy, your happiness to go back into something that you and the person both know is not good for you? Because them know, you know, they know it's not good for them, you know, and them know it's not good for you, you know. But because they, they, they have that, that stronghold and because they feel like, say, yes, I'm this macho, I'm this leader, I have control here. And they know, see, a weak, that's their strength. That's how they gain their strength because narcissistic people are weak people. Yeah. And they play on the vulnerable. They play yes, on people you know, your own insecurity. Insecurity mm -hmm. problems. People that are very kind hearted and you know, like the cascas and the cuscus and all them something. They pray upon these type of people, them. Yes. Because they know that these people are easier to get through. You think they're going to look for one ragamuffin and go, go trouble one ragamuffin? Because they know so they will line them up with two bad words and they will send them which one they need to send them. So they're not the persons. All who... right. Are confident too. Thank you. The people them that they know so them confidence and their self-esteem is all the way up here. They won't even look at them because they know. Them know. Yes, sometimes we might look at a, a person and say, boy, them full of themselves, but make them full of themselves because you know why? They won't go through narcissistic abuse. Yes. Because they know that they have so much self-worth and self-love that they don't need validation from anybody else because they already know that they are all worth it. Yes. And when you find yourself, you don't need to seek any validation from anyone because that's how I'm living my life now. I don't care who don't like me. I don't care who love me. I, I want to know that for me with myself, yes. I have respect and I am a valuable, upstanding female that can walk with my head held high and I can be an example for all the other females that are looking at my journey and looking up to me. Mm -hmm. I have to be Thank an example. Sister. I am going to lead by example so the ones that are looking in, are zooming in, can see that, hey, if she can do it, I can also do it too. And yes, you can. You can come out of a situation that has held you down.
because I did it. I was madly in love. I didn't see anybody else other than this person. But I got out of it. And I went through my process of healing and went through my journey and it pained, it hurt. And I actually had to face it, but also you have to forgive yourself. In order for you to heal, you gotta forgive yourself. Yes. And let go of the situation so that you can welcome and attract better. Affirm and believe in better. Manifest better. Speak life over your body. Speak life over your, your health. Speak life over your finances. Speak life over your relationships that's going to form. Speak life. Speak positivity and affirm it. Believe it and put it out there. And let the good Lord direct your path. Mm -hmm. Let the good Lord direct your path. My girl, it sounds like you want to come, come fling be a thumbs over here. Throw it on the floor, not me. Just throw it all like on the floor. Like, I'm not going to go. Floor, listen to me, man. Trust me. You, we all can do it. Yeah. We all can do it. It starts with self. Mm -hmm. Believe. Loving you. Realize that you're valuable. You are valuable. We are all valuable in our own unique ways. And sitting down and tearing ourselves down into a situation that's not for us, honeys, it's time to grow up. <sighs> I said that this year, 2021, should be a year of alignment, purpose, growth, change, transition, restoration. If 2020 didn't teach anyone anything, 2020 taught me a lot. And I said to someone, I said, COVID came around and COVID opened my eyes to so many things around me. Yes. You said 2021 is what kind of year? Because some people are around the back doing some things. They're not really pay attention. Tell them again. So 2021 is a year of restoration, alignment, purpose, change, transition and purpose no man is a well purpose still soak it in purpose 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 same way what are you here for right what is what are you here for what do you want for yourself what is your purpose mm -hmm. in 2021 Come what, out from are the willing, what are you willing to let go of Mm -hmm. What are you willing to change? What mm -hmm. are you willing to overcome to find your purpose? Yeah, like at what one. What are you willing to change? Yes, change sometimes can be difficult, mm -hmm. but it is worth it when you know that it is something that is going to align you to your purpose you can't find your purpose staying stuck into a toxic situation you can't find your and i'm going to repeat it you can't find your purpose staying stuck into a toxic situation because you are blindfolded you are held down you are bounded and you're not free to do or to see what your purpose should be Amen. Amen. So Amen. this 2021, if anything, that's 2021, if you ain't know or learn anything, for this year, 2021, let this year be a year of purpose. What are you willing to change? Change. What are you willing to overcome? What are you willing to let go to find your purpose in 2021? Amen. And in order to get to the purpose, you have to move. You have to move. And you have to change. You have to change. You have to go through your process. Your transition, your restoration. I'm going to show an example. When you're building a house, when you're restoring a house, isn't that house messy? Mm. 
you're going to go through the mess. You're going to go through the feelings. But we clean down the house because we want to see the beauty of it. So with all of that sanding, it come with the dust. We get a broom and we sweep. You go sweep up the areas of your life where you need to sweep up. Mm -hmm. And then you get what? You get a wet cloth. You get a wet mop. And your mop to take and up the loose stuff. Your furniture cleaner, you shine it down, you polish it down, you get your Windex spray, you spray the glass. And guess what? After you see the beauty of the finishing product, that's just exactly how life is too. When you're going through your season of restoration, you're going to feel you're going to feel all the emotions, anger, sadness, fear. All those things because it's natural, but you don't give up. You don't give up. You still keep going. It's just like a butterfly. He was once in water cocoon, and then he evolved and he turned into a butterfly, a beautiful being. Right? Looking at that caterpillar, would you ever thought that he would have bloomed into a beautiful butterfly? No, because you look creepy and nasty. All right. <laughs> All right. It's just like life. It's just like going through your process of restoration. Initially, the stage is, it's not going to all be our beauty. But in the end, it's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be worth it. It is going to be worth it. What are your goals? What are, what are your goals? Are you reaching your goals? And a lot of us will answer no. And what are you going to do up to get to that goal, to get to that place, your purpose? You have to fix your life. You have to address the problem. If you're holding on to the relationship because of finances, get a job. My God. If one job ain't working out, find two jobs. Sacrifice. Right. Sacrifice. If it's mm -hmm. emotional issues that you have, address them. Go back to the root cause. What happened in your childhood that caused you to want to be so dependent for somebody to give you that validation to make you feel good? Go back to the roots. Go back to the cause. What created that problem? And pray. Pray about it. And ask God to show you what you need to know. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you. And in all things, we have to acknowledge that there's a God above that is just waiting for us to surrender and carry our bur cast our burdens onto him. Mm -hmm. God is our miracle working father. He breaks every chain. I am graceful and broken before God. And I am happy to profess the love that God has for me because now I realize that my God was the one that was seeing me through my problems. And he took me from my low place to my high. And I'm still on my journey. Because he ain't done with me yet. And if I could do it, if I could have let go and walked from a depressive state, I was Baker acted, brought into a psychiatric unit. I was on medications for depression. I was on medication for anxiety. If I could have walked away from all those things, I know I'm able to smile and be happy and be at peace. Why can't you? I was once totally in love. Everything was that person. And I was able to walk away from it. Till that person mattered no more. I mm. was not, I am the person who mattered now. Me. I. Uniquely yours. Yannick Kadogan. Me. Same thing. You can do it too. And don't rush into a relationship. Fix up yourself first. You have to fix up every intricate areas of your life first before you can love a person. Because yes. you're going to bring your burdens from one to the next. And it's just going to be a revolving cycle. That's going to keep going, keep going, and keep going. A lot of experts say, give yourself each month. For example, if you're in a relationship for five years, you can give yourself up to five months out of a relationship. If you're in it for six years, give yourself up to six months. Some experts believe in that. But for me, I don't do it by time frame. I do it by the time that you are going to heal. You have to heal you first. Because yes. some people heal differently. Some people heal within a year. 
three months, four months, five, six, some longer. It's whenever that you know that you're fully healed. Where now the problems that once existed exist no more. Mm. And you're able to be your true authentic self. Where you freely can laugh and love freely. Mm. Without holding back. But you can't use uh, um, coming out of one relationship and jumping into another. Because what you're doing is you're basically using that relationship as a cover-up of the how you feel. Because you now you're looking for now a replacement for that sadness or for that emptiness. or Which is fine. It's okay. You have to go through these emotions because these emotions are only going to build you to become stronger. Yes. And you can't be jumping from pillar to post because you might jump from one and you might jump into something that's even way worse because you're so blinded because you don't know. You're so blinded, you're so vulnerable that you're just running, running, running and trying to just jump into something else. You can't do that. You jump have to pick the fire and jump the fire. Into the fire. Yes. <laughs> true, true, it's true. You have to fix up yourself first. You have to. So that when the, when the person come around that is for you, because it's not only going to be probably one person coming out. It's going to be probably multiple people. And you have to screen them and make sure you say, you know, they're on the same equal yoke with you. And, you know, people go, people can't say anything to tell you. Because in the beginning, it's all beautiful. And you're going to be told everything that you want to hear because the person is trying to get at you. But... You can identify, you can ask questions and you can listen. That's why you ask questions, you listen and you observe. Be very observant and you be very, you have to have good listening skills to know. No, you can't pick out the nonsense from the ones that, you know? Yeah. Make sense from what don't make sense. Yeah. Because now you're wiser. You're no longer broken. So you're able to identify all that you need to identify. And that's why my advice here tonight is if you're thinking about Jumping into another relationship once out of one. Give yourself some time to heal. Love mm -hmm. on yourself. Love on yourself. Care about who you are. Value yourself. Respect yourself. And know that in due time, everything that you put in, work within your own self, will be honored back to you at the given time that it should be honored back to you. Go but again. Send that one more time. time. <laughs> give yourself time to heal work on yourself put in the work in your own self all that work that you're putting in through your own self is going to come back out and it's going to be honored back to you in the given time yes so putting in good you're going to get back good results out you ain't putting in no work no work well, nothing good gonna come nah if you don't if you so you don't good, reap get exactly and you said something profound to me um this morning, you know, when you said you have to go through your sank your you regeneration. Have to go through your regeneration to get to the process of sanctification for your glorification. Girl, make sure I sit down, you know. Yes, yes. Come on, again, so Yanny. Go, Come on again. Go through your regeneration to your sanctification, which is now you're cleaning up. You're getting sanctified. You're washing. You're cleaning up. You're bathing all of that germs, all of that crap away to get to your glorification. And your glorification will be your victory. This is where you win. This is where you no longer are stuck into your depressive state, your anger, your toxic mess. You're no longer bounded because you went through that process. So regeneration, sanctification, glorification. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord. Very important. Very important. Going through the steps. Going through the process. Going through the process. Finally free. Free. Yes. Eagle. Sorry. No longer Not bound. Not lo you're no longer bound. The chains are broken. You know how good it feels. Hey. People see me probably all are driving on my car, you know, and see me and mad. start smile and laugh. Yes, and no weed. Hey, and I said, what to the girl there? But let me tell you something. When you are set free and you are in a, at a place of calm and peace, 
ain't no greater feeling than that, you know. You know, like when you just baptize, you remember what you did feel yes. when you just baptized? Yes, yes. Oh Free. my it's God. Like a, it's, like a, it's like a spirit just rise up out of you. Oh my God, something just lift up off your shoulder like. Yes, yes. And what problem there? What trouble there? You understand what I'm saying? It's the same feeling. And it's worth it, you know, guys. It is worth it. I promise you. I'm talking of an experience. On the swimming day up online, I'm here tease every minute. And I start smile. Yes, yeah, so it's a big smile, yeah? Me I smile because me know where me I come from. And I know that so once you go through the process of healing, once you go through the process of clearing up everything around you that's negative, and you can end up on a path of positivity, Trust me, nothing can get in your way to yes. stop you from what you have set up in yourself. That's why it's important to find your purpose. Yes. And tonight, I want to challenge anyone that is watching. Grab a notebook. Write down your goals for 2021. How am I going to be able to get to this goal? Start with, start with something small. And then work your way up. Yeah, and I promise you, if you're involved into something toxic, and if you're holding on for the wrong reasons, stop. You're only hurting yourself, and you're only taken away from your purpose. Let me say, this year, twenty twenty one, is alignment, <laughs> restoration, purpose, right, transition, mm -hmm. change, fulfillment. All of these things, it's important. It is important. This is a year of alignment. This is a year of purpose. It's a year of transition, restoration, and everything. One needs to align you with your goals, with you, who you want to be. Let's get started. Yes. Let us all get started. Yes. And it doesn't have to only be a relationship. It can also be a spiritual walk and journey with the good, good father up above. Mm -hmm. Sing the song, Yannick. Don't block your blessings. Don't block your blessings. Don't play with play around with God. Mm -hmm. You can't be asking God to help you if you're willing to help yourself. Lord. You can't be praying to God, asking God to change the situation if you're willing to make that change. You can't be holding on to something and in the back of your mind and say, oh man, me done, me all tight. But you're still, there's something that you're still holding on to. You can't. Mm -hmm. Let go. Entirely. Release yourself from that bondage. Every weight. Lay Every aside. Weight. It's a, a shed. Every weight. If you couldn't gain weight before, baby, you have to start putting on the weight and look good. <laughs> and if you used to have to eat only for food to make you comfortable, all of them, them comfort eating, they're going to cut up because now you're going to turn it into something else. Mm -hmm. Hey, I tell you, I look at our picture of myself. I always struggle with trying to put on weight because me, I want, we always want to be a little tick I eat only for uh -huh. food. Right? <laughs> <laughs> And Every woman these days, everybody wants to hear. Listen, because... the stress for me used to under. All of them just gone. So guess what? Guess who start with our weight? Guess who start with good in them clothes? This girl right here. This girl right here. It's important. It is important. Listen, it is important. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health, guys. Take care of yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourself, please. It is important. Up, eh, it feels good to get happy, you know, every day, you know. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah. you know. You know, need somebody to come bring that. Me happy with my own self. Me live alone. Me and all the one. Me live alone. Me don't have nobody want to live with. It's me alone. Me don't need no man in my house to make me happy. Me happy with me. Me good. Me happy. Me watch me look at TV. Me find something to crack up about. Me sip on a look of wine. Whatever. Me enjoy me. Find yeah. yourself. You don't need comfort in a nobody. You need comfort in a you. You. Your individual self. Love yourself. Self-peace. Self-love. Self-awareness. Self-worth. Self-value. Respect. All these things. 
Show yourself some affection. All right. Girl. Go pamper yourself. If you men, if you, if go pamper yourself. Get a massage, get a facial, get a foot show, get a hand show, whatever you want to. Go get something done. Treat yourself. Oh, my God. You still Can remember that you? commercial? Huh? The, uh, facial, angel, and foot shell. Who remember that commercial? On TV. <laughs> That's true. Let me tell you. Get a facial, angel, foot shell. Foot shell. To make you feel good. <laughs> Take care of you. <sighs> Show yourself some love, man. Show yourself some love. Show yourself some affection. Love on yourself. Say, self, I love you. Every day, I affirm something within myself. Every day. And I would advise anyone on here too that the first 30 minutes of before you go to bed and the first 30 minutes after waking up, don't scroll on social media. Don't grab up your phone to watch something. Take that first 30 minutes to reflect, to meditate, and to start off your day right by either praying, listening to some worship songs, if you don't listen to gospel, it's fine because it's not a lot of people, you know, are spiritual. But do something that is going to uplift your energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uplift what the whole date, right? Now that you're on that note, Yannick, I want you to affirm the women because we're on Girl Connection. <laughs> For the yes. newcomers, I'm sorry, I did not get a chance to give you that intro or the welcome. Welcome and thanks for coming. Tonight is Girl Connection, and we're connecting with Yannick. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the last name. Kadagan. Kadagan. <laughs> Yannick. Um, I want you to affirm the ladies, like, speak into some of the ladies, the, some of the affirmations that you used to help you get through your toxicity, through your, you know, your, your yamed so, days. Come my through. everyday affirmations, I am strong now speak to the women here i you am going strong. to tell them you mm. are strong yes you are beautiful you are valuable you are loved you are a force that cannot be touched or broken you are resilient you are fearless you are an overcomer and most importantly, you are a blessing from God. Yes. God did not create you by accident. You're not here by accident. You're here for a reason. So remember, I want you to remember three things, yes, three yes. affirmations. Mm -hmm. You are valuable. You are beautiful. And you are loved. Every day you get up, I advise to say these three affirmations. I, and you can call your name. I would say, I, Yannique, I am valuable. I, Yannique, I am beautiful. And I, Yannique, I am loved. Affirm it, believe it, and it's going to be manifested. Ladies, you don't need a man to validate who you are. Not even a best friend, but you know. You don't need to go bleach your skin yeah. to be beautiful. You don't need to go enhance your body to be beautiful. You are beautiful in your own way. Embrace your beauty. Your natural beauties. I don't have on no makeup on my face. Yes, sure. I have my local yay lash, but yes, I don't sure. have no, no makeup. 100%. I have my local lashes because I had an event that I went to and I wanted to feel beautiful in that sense of brighten up my face, but I don't have no makeup right now. See there? None. No makeup. No makeup. <laughs> we believe you, girl. Go on. You are beautiful the way that you are. God created you in his image and in his likeness. You think that God, God ugly? If God creates you, that means he actually has to say God ugly. Mm -hmm. God is not ugly. God is beautiful. And there's a God that is within, within you. Do the right thing. Don't let a man come and say, oh, you're too this or you're too that. 
turn around and say, I am, I am that. I am beautiful. I am loved and I am valuable. And I don't need you to tell me otherwise because I know I am of I am all of these three things. And you can overcome anything that you want to overcome. Don't doubt yourself. I'm here telling you tonight, ladies, that if I could overcome my challenges that were really difficult ones, and I've not even got into the icing or even the tip of anything that I've experienced. If I were supposed to talk about it, it would mm -hmm. it would probably take me hours. Wow. And if I could have overcome bisexual acts, if I could have overcome depression, anxiety, fear, self-esteem issues, or no could have found somebody's self-esteem as low as mine. Mm -hmm. My self-esteem was so, so low that when I'm going out, I have to look at myself, what if time and I ask questions, oh, you think me look, you think me look? No, I was show and put my head in the road. I don't need nobody to tell me something good. Come, be new, be new. Yeah, no, you look good. I'm tracking on here, like you're tracking on here right now. I lift up. Yeah, no, you know, me look good. Yeah, I'm in a tear. Same way. Same way. I even close a tear off. Me and Mrs. Me look good. Good. Me don't need no validation from nobody. No. Stop living your life. I try to please people and get validation. That not working at 2021 no more, baby. Let's talk about some purpose and alignment. Let's talk about some businesses that we are going to farm. Come on, man. Big thing mm -hmm. 2021. We don't need to worry about some small fries things. No. Purpose. 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 Alignment. Purpose. Alignment. Mm -hmm. Restoration. Healing. Development. All these things that are going to take you to your place. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's worth it, is isn't it worth it? That worth it's worth it. Yeah. The job I come. No worry, no self. No get the better job because when someone find themselves and find a purpose, they're gonna realize that oh, all on day, all this time, me the things that is me did want, but you know what's not it? To me, I find me, me I find me purpose. Yes. If you're to start school. Before I'm going to get in a school because you're confused. Guess what? You so when you find your purpose, school are gonna be something easy to go back in. Huh? And if you know you're which, what you study, what kind of course you want to study. Yes, you have a talent, probably you like singing, writing music that's going to come like this. Yes, probably you're creative yes. and you can create and design stuff that come like this because now you're in your purpose, you're being aligned to your purpose. Uh, us, all right share the video guys yannick um two things we're gonna close with tonight yes um you mentioned that you started a ministry out of your experience god right. laid that on your heart no the good lord or good good father you know yes has his people set up in different places you know People that we would meet one day, or maybe we never meet them, but they've heard of our passion and Look our at testament Look at and us. our faith, and they feel connected, they are drawn to you and what you have, and they yes. believe that your potential could 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 go so much further if you yes. could get help. And yes. you said you needed some things. I want you to just use this opportunity. If there was somebody or some persons here that really wanted to invest in your ministry, like really give you the help you needed to grow and to help more people, let's start healing. What would you ask for? I would actually ask for like mentors to jump on board with me. Mm -hmm. Train professional mentors that are interested in helping critical cases that I myself may not have the exposure or experience in. I would love for mentors to reach out to me. I can be reached via email. I can reach via via text. I can be reached on WhatsApp. I can also be reached, you know, directly on my Instagram because that's an Instagram account that I personally run. And I'll go ahead and I'll share the detail. It's 
let's l e t s talk healing underscore so it is let's talk healing underscore on instagram and you can find me there on facebook i am uniquely yours right and you can find my information my email is ycadzz1 at gmail.com i'll be more than happy to speak with you all i am more than excited to work with anyone on here that needs help or is willing to also give me their advice their professional expertise and probably that no other mentors i would love to join in with my platform because the goal for 2021 is to change lives to, to share and to spread awareness to mental health to toxic yes. people that are in toxic relationships helping women that are going through domestic abuse, helping men that are going through also similar situations, doing a charity give back program to the poor, right? So this year is a year that we're going to move a lot of, we're going to be moving in the right direction with a lot of things. We have a lot in place, but we also need additional help on board. Yes. No man is an island, no man stand alone. So in this case, all of us here work together to build a change, to form a network of change, to spread awareness to everyone that do need it in their life. All right. Thank you for that. And for those who want to reach Yannick, all her information is in the description, whether on YouTube or on Facebook. My last thing, the last thing that I'm going to do now is to just give my, give the usual roll call or the shout out to all the people who come on or who usually come on because I don't want people to start feeling bad. People make yes. it. Yeah. So all the girls who came out tonight, I really appreciate your presence. Um, um, where, where am I? Made up. Florida Lewis says good night. So just giving you all greetings, Florida Lewis, Genesis. Good night, my good girl. Night, Genesis. Good night. Big up everybody. Blogs Byron. Good night. It sounds like you know Blogs Byron. So. No, ma'am, that's not what you're saying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just I watch the name, ma'am. No, ma'am, it's so like you know her a while ago. Yes, my girl, Ali, good night. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Shami. Good night, Shami. Good night, Shami. Good night, is here, and Ellie Stan, my Stan. biggest supporter. You yes, know this person. Good first. night. Yeah. Um, let's see who else. Crystal Eccleston, good night, good night, good night. Amanda, mwah, good night. Mm, yes. <laughs> Chosen Vessel mm. by, by Field, good night. good night. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. This was an interesting conversation. D. Dot Moon, good night, good night. Shana, Shana. good night. Big up on yourself. <laughs> Where's the blessings of flow like a river for 2021? You know, we are the current. You're using Kadian my favorite song. It's always a big up yourself. Take water on him and join him. <laughs> Good Kadian night. Rude. Um, Latisha, you're of purpose. Yes. Good night, my dear. Good night. And this good is night. a purpose speaker too. So she's yes. claiming. Yes. Good, good, good. Love that. Vanny Mark. Mark. Good night, Vanny. Good night. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in and joining. Anisha, yes, you are valuable, beautiful, and you are loved. Good night. Good Someone night. is getting it. Good night. Jamil yeah. Alexander, good night, good night, good night. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for joining us and for all the ones that are going to be watching after this program is live streamed and placed on both Facebook and YouTube. Thank you all. And also, I want to big up um, Shanique with her big bad book that she has, Breaking Barriers. You guys go out. Go on Amazon right now. Go on Facebook and you can find her. Definitely mm -hmm. support the movement. I am telling you, it's worth, it's worth, it's worth it, guys. Right? So, like I said, this year is a year where we're going to be breaking barriers. Right, Shanique? We're going to be restoring. We're going to be claiming. We're going to be affirming. We're going to be believing. And we're going to be walking that walk in our purpose. So yes, thank you for having me. It was definitely a great pleasure with speaking to you. I know we had some connection issues, but even so, behind all those things, 
we're definitely going to do a part two. It is needed. It is needed. This is certainly needed. A part two is on the way, guys. So yeah. share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like um Shanique's um program that she has in place. Very great <laughs> movement. For all of us, remember to go over to Instagram and like and share. Also to follow. And thank you guys so much. It was a pleasure to be able to share with you guys tonight. Thank you. Stay safe. Remember, sanitize. Mask up the thing. Social distance. Look at what we say. We now catch no COVID. So we have to do the thing. Right? So guys, have a sweet and wonderful, peaceful night. Thank you so much, Shanique, for having me. God blessings. Blessings. And one more thing I want you to say for me. This has been Talk Truth <laughs> Yes, Talk Truth Series. Menor. Real talk, real people live. Go on, yes. yes, this is Talk Truth Series. Real life situation, real people, real situations that is being brought to life. Amen. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. And see you all on the next live. Have yeah. a great night. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful night. Thanks, Bye. Annie. All right, you're welcome, hon.